Okay, our next speaker is from the Buckeye Forest Council, and uh, you know, alongside with Ohio Environmental Council, Buckeye Forest Council has done a phenomenal job throughout the state of Ohio, uh, protecting our parks and really leading the forefront to support grassroots groups in the uh, battle against the fracking uh, invasion. So Nathan Johnson from Buckeye Forest Council, folks. So, who here wants toxic waste dumped or injected in their ground in the city of Mansfield? Anyone? Ooh. No? Ooh. How many How many here want 82 tanker cars per week of toxic waste injected into the ground in town here in Mansfield? Ooh. No one, I'm sure. No one in their right mind, certainly. But if the oil and gas industry has its way, that's exactly what will happen here in the near future. The toxic waste we're talking about is brine that comes up from these wells, as well as the chemical compounds that are injected every time a well is fracked and drilled. We're talking about radioactive substances like strontium and radium. Uh, radium in one sample of Marcellus Shale wastewater from Pennsylvania collected in 2009 was 3,609 times more radioactive than federal safety limits for drinking water. That's not the sort of thing we want in our ground here in Mansfield or in our water. Let me read a quote from uh, a man who was one of our greatest Supreme Court justices and also a great supporter of citizen rights. And that's Louis Dembis Brandeis. And I quote, Those who want our independence valued liberty as an ends and as a means. They believed liberty to be the secret of happiness and courage to be the secret of liberty. Courage to be the secret of liberty. Local communities must have the courage to stand up to an industry bent on turning our cities into industrial toilet bowls. Recent report released by ProPublica reviewed injection well records from across the nation and found that injection well failures are routine, not something that happens once in a great while, but routine. The study covered the years 2007 through 2010, about a three year period, and they found that one well integrity violation was issued for every six deep injection well ex wells examined. That's one out of six examined. Uh, during that three-year period, more than 7,500 well test failures involved, quote, fluid migration and, quote, significant leaks. Deep well operators have been caught exceeding injection pressure limits more than 1,100 times since 2008. It's not a matter of whether water will be polluted, but when. Five years, ten years, fifty, a hundred, even four hundred years, it doesn't really matter. Future generations are just as valuable, if not more so, than our own. The, the oil and gas industry won't protect our rights. On this issue, the state government has shown time and again that it favors the industry over local rights and community welfare. Our rights and our well-being, the well-being of future generations, rests in the courage and action of we the people, the people of Mansfield and the people of Ohio. Vote yes on Amendment A.